Hey, South Jersey, it's meteorologist Joe Martucci. Yes, we're dealing with some fog, and you're going to want to take it slow as we go into our Thursday morning here. But by about 9 o'clock, that fog will lift. And then on the other side of this, a lot of that white on that map, that means a lot of clear sky for us. And we'll have a really warm day on our Thursday and the Friday as well. In fact, temperatures 10 to 15 degrees above average for us here in South Jersey. Feeling more like the first half of September rather than the middle of October here. Now, we won't be hitting any record highs, but again, we're still going to be about 10 to 15 degrees above average. T-shirt weather, shorts weather, bathing suit weather. If you still got the pool open, pool weather here. I mean, it is going to be really warm. And let's show you our what to wear forecast over the next 48 hours here. Shorts, t-shirt, and sunglasses will do for today. You'll want the longer shirt as we go on into our Thursday night. It's, it'll be you know, a little cool. It is mid-October after all. And then Friday, bathing suit, flip-flops, sunglasses. Sounds good to me. Pack the beach chair for a really good day. And even at night, I think jeans and a t-shirt will do as we kick off our weekend. Let's take a look at our bus stop forecast for our Thursday here. Temperatures rising through to 60s. We do have a uh, t-shirt and we have shorts weather again here. Take it slow driving as you go into school today but afterwards we're talking about shorts weather and we're talking about plenty of sunshine and warm air to go around high temperatures will be in the upper 70s that is well above average again for this time of the year and let's take a look at our on the water forecast for thursday yes on october 14th we're talking about a beach forecast wave heights two to three feet Swells come from the east with a wave period of six seconds, and water temps are really driving some of this warmth here because some of that milder air is blowing onto land. So we got water temps mid to upper 60s, which is a little bit above average for this time of the year. Our temperatures on land are more than likely going to be above average as well. Going into our Thursday night, temperatures slide through the 70s and 60s during the evening. Overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 50s on the mainland. Low 60s at the shore, and then for our Friday Low 80s on the mainland, pair of 7s at the shore, lucky 7s at the shore. Great day to head to Atlantic City on what is our warmest Friday since October, excuse me, August 27th here. So feeling more like summer. And then as we go into Saturday, that's the next shot of rain here across the area. You see this line of showers and storms that passes through. It's a few hours of rain between 6 p.m. to about midnight or so. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of flooding or severe weather. I will say this. I am keeping a close eye on that severe weather situation because it's right on that border of, you know, just your run-of-the-mill showers and storms and something where, yeah, we're going to have to watch out for damaging winds or even a tornado. Again, not forecasting severe weather at this moment. Here's a look at our mainland seven-day forecast. I'll tell you what, Saturday and Sunday almost going to be opposites of each other. I mean, Saturday continues that warm summery air, but once that cold front comes through with those thunderstorms, bam, we are going right down the fall. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s for Sunday and Monday with a mostly sunny sky. And then for Tuesday and Wednesday, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures rebound back up through the 70s. We'll look at the shore, same story here. Pair of sevens for highs Thursday and Friday. No fog at the shore for our day today, of course. And then as we go into the weekend, temperatures staying you know, cooler compared to the past couple of days, at least the, this week, but still seasonable as average highs, even at the shore, are in the mid to upper 60s. For latest in South Jersey weather, you go to our website, pressfac.com slash weather. Of course, on social media, you can see all my content, our articles, podcasts, as well as other fun things going on around South Jersey.